welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're all here. Hoping you're having a wonderful day. Um, don't forget to, to um, tell me how things are in your part of the world when you leave a comment. And if you have any viewers' questions or suggestions, please leave those as well. Just remind, remind to be kind. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. For this project, you're going to need a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock, and it does need to be the thicker cardstock because um, it's going to be the outside of a regular journal, mini journal, um, ephemeral holder, and bookmark. So you're going to want to make sure it's it's good sturdy cardstock. Not super heavy, but not you know like a pick like you get. Um, this is from Michaels. It's Recollections paper pad. Um, and it should say, it does not, it usually says what weight it is, but this doesn't. Okay, so anyhow, medium weight, I'm going to say. All right, so you notice that I've got these drawings here for you to get a screenshot of, and I'm going to give you the measurements from the top, from the top of the paper to this line is five and a half inches. From this side of the paper across to this line is eight and a half inches. And then dropping down, this is nine and a half. And then you don't have to worry about this. So you just remember that this is a nine and a half inch, eight and a half inch. So you're an inch over on this. This is going to be a mini journal, bookmark holder, ephemera pack, and little journal. Okay, these are the pieces that make the kit. And when we're all done, we'll do the triangles on this side. Okay, so first cut, like I said, five and a half inches. And cut that. You know what, guys? This is Monday on Sunday. All right, so we're going in five and a half inches on this side. And be very careful if you have directional paper, it does make a difference. Okay, so five and a half on this side. And that should line me up. And voila, it does. Okay, whoops, stay straight there. Stay straight, stay straight. All right, five and a half all the way across. Setting this aside. We're going to go to eight and a half on this side. right there, lines me up, my little line is there, those two pieces are cut, and then this is the nine and a half. Oh, I, I made one of these earlier, and I went, yeah, I know what I did wrong, I had made a mistake, but this is, this is now correct, yeah, I, I um, talk to myself all the time too, and then we cut across there, so this is your bookmark, and don't, don't worry that my my lines are never straight. There's your ephemera holder. And then you're going to need a ruler. And we fold this one directly in half. Now when I originally made this for a, for a swap, I got these two pieces backwards. I swapped them out. And it didn't matter. It just means if you use this one, you're going to have a larger mini journal and if you use this you're going to have a smaller um, ephemera holder. So this is the one we're using. I'm going to go back in and erase my pencil marks here, my not so straight line and make sure you are edge to edge. Okay, so we'll save the hard cut to last on this one. I'm going to come in to four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. And I'm going to mark it and then I'm going to mark yeah, a half inch on this side. A quarter of one inch on that side. Okay. So that's going to be my my folds. And this should now be three and three fourths. Oh, I messed up on that. These aren't these measurements aren't right. So you gotta find the middle middle of the page. We're eight and a half and eight and a half. 
so four and a quarter should be the middle of the page. Does that seem right? When in doubt, cheat. All right, we know that's the middle of the page. Yeah, that was right. That was right. Okay, so then we're going to put this on the half. And we're going to divide that half into quarters. It's going to be there and there. Okay, so these are these are your three lines. This is your center. This is your quarter. This is your quarter. All right? I think I got this. Then we're going to fold this page up. And you do not have to. You, if you want a larger journal with no, you know, not that much of a spine, you don't have to do this. You could just do like we did with this one and fold it in half and then just put your signature in. But I like them wider. I like the I like the little spine on it. So see now we have a half inch spine. So in order to make sure from where I should be, I fold this even with the top, pull it back. It's in my bone folder, go down that edge, and then I switch it over. And I do the same thing on this side. I make sure my edges are flush and I go across. So that should be right. Yes, they both meet. We're good. And we're going to have fun folding them. All right, same thing on the little one. My, my crooked lines here. We're going to do the same thing on this one. We're going to find a middle. Middle. And then we'll go a quarter of an inch on each side. Here and here. Oops, it was a little off right there. And we're going to fold up. Just, just enough to show you where you're at. I miss my little my little um, grid pad, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. I have a new one coming. Um, my old ones, I just had painted up so bad. So I'm going to use my old ones for my miniatures, and I'm going to use my new ones for my journals. All right, so now we have this, and I made them with the same size spine. This one will be filled with, maybe you want to use it as an address book, phone numbers, um, appointments. You know, it, it, it would be up to the owner. Oops, a little off there. Make sure it's straight. And then when I come in, I will cover my spines with washi tape before I put the... In it. All right, so now we have these three, these four pieces. This one you're going to need a backing for it, and it doesn't have to be anything special. It can be just a piece of paper, and you're going to want it slightly wider than what you're using. So I'll come in and. This, have, this one has that doesn't look right. Okay, so we're gonna cut this back piece and like I said you want it to be slightly wider than your paper because you're gonna put a bookmark in it and you're gonna want room to sew around the edge or You're going to want a room to go around so that you can put stuff in it. The bottom part, just for show, won't really be anything in the bottom part. All right, so now we have this marked. And we have this marked. I think that was my mark right there. Yes. 
so and I'm gonna use my paper trimmer and y'all know why <laughs> I do not draw I do not draw straight lines I trust my trimmer not my hands all right so there we go we now have our pieces cut for the most part okay next up we're going to take this guy and it doesn't matter unless it's directional it doesn't matter which side you use I will probably make this the back side so you don't see my marks although we are going to ink it up all right still like this side better I don't know so from here we're going to measure a quarter of an inch over on each side. So this is going to be my one fourth. And this is going to be my one fourth. Okay. Can you guys see that? One fourth and one fourth. All right. So now we're going to make a triangle. We're going to find the center of the page. And it's four and three quarters. Boy, am I. Let's see. We're going to have to come in. Let's go here. One fourth, one fourth. An eight. There we go. So I'm going to call. Wow. This is not easy. Again, when in doubt, fold it in half. That'll kind of give you a point. For me, it's easier than trying to figure it out. All right, so then we're going to go three and a half inches down the paper, which is right here. Okay, we're going to make a mark. If you want to barely, lightly, lightly draw a line, you can. You're not going to want it too dark because you're going to need to be able to erase it. Okay, so from that point to that corner, or one fourth, we're going to draw a line. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. We'll draw a line. Okay, so now you see your triangle. Right, that part's going to get cut out. And you're going to do the exact same on this piece, only on this piece, you're only going to go down three inches. Okay? And the reason being is this, this should be shorter than what's on the other side. Light, 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 light line. Okay, just so I know where I'm at. And then coming in a quarter of an inch on each side up here. It's going to put us here and here. So from that top to the bottom, I think the line there. We're going to pencil in. We're going to pencil in. All right, get rid of this. Whoa, did y'all see me? I almost drew on the thing with my pencil. All right, so now with our scissors, we're going to cut this. And this. this goes on like a washi tape and everything else. Let me get my paper trimmer guys. Like I said, I don't do I don't do straight lines very well. Let's try that this direction. 
would have made more sense, right? I'm going to line this line up on that edge. Straight line. Whoops. What I think, right? Straight line. And then line this side up. I'll show you guys how bad off I am on my lines. Look, see? I can never I can almost get it across there, but not quite. I'm always off. Now let's see if this will don't get rid of this triangle, okay? Hang on to it. Because if this is gonna fit my bookmark. And we can always come back and trim off more later. That's a little large, but that's okay. I can always come in and trim. See? Now that's going to hold our book bookmark that we make together and put in there. So that's our first piece. Not quite done. And we're going to do the same thing, like I said. We're going to cut this triangle out now. And then... We'll come back in the next video and put our signatures in. And if you're comfortable, you can go ahead and do your own signatures. You don't have to wait. Okay. And there's and this holds our ephemera. This is the larger journal, the bookmark, and the mini journal. And then these two get sewn together. Just like that. Now I'm going to put lace. I'm going to go back. I'm going to get a piece that I kind of oopsied on that uh, coordinates with this color. Maybe this. And I'm going to go ahead and cut one size down. And I may get a darker blue yet. I don't know. But I'm going to cut another triangle that's in between this one and this one. and then glue it under just for fun or I may just trim like I said put paper trim or something on that I'm going to embellish it and I'm also going to sew across here just like that so it'll look good all right so then what we're going to do is we're going to get a signature in this one we're going to attach this one I want to ink first and then we're going to round the corners and attach and put signatures in this one. And then I'm going to sew around my edge, ink, ink, and then sew. So that's what we're going to be doing when we come back in the next video. But there are your six pieces. So I've got these two, and then I've got this pattern that I'm going to be working on. And actually more, but those are the two that I'm starting off with. And uh, hopefully you guys can craft along. And that you got the measurements in that first photo, in that first chapter of this video. So let me show you again. This is not square, of course, but your measurements are going to be five and one half down okay by eight and one half across on the first piece your second piece is going to be nine and a half wide okay so you're going to have three cuts Five and one half by eight and one half, and then nine and one half. So your lines are going to be, it's going to look like this.
Okay, so your three lines are going to be one, two, three, right? I did not exactly make this 12 and a half by 12 and a half, but you guys get the idea, okay? So you're gonna have only three lines, five and a half by eight and a half, and then this one will be nine and a half, and then these two off cuts are what you make the mini journal with. And this is your ephemera holder. This is your bookmark. And it should be skinny. It should not be very wide. All right. So remember, nine and a half, eight and a half wide. Wide. Okay. Five and a half this way. Five and a half. Eight and a half this way nine and a half lengthwise and then whatever is left over is what you make the rest of them out of all right guys that's going to do it for this chapter and in our next video we will be putting in the uh, signatures and embellishing thanks for watching